Hello friends, welcome to BEC Agriculture. If you are coming to my channel for the first time, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Your subscription and likes are always motivating us. So if you have a, any queries, in, please comment in the section and also join us in the Instagram page, which is in the video description as well as the about of the YouTube channel. So let's move to the video. In this video, we are going to see about product cultivation and secondary agriculture. I am going to cover the planning and design of greenhouse gases. I have also given the in Instagram link, channel link and the extra link for our YouTube channel in this in the lecture notes so you can able to join us easily as well as share to your friends so i am going to give about the just intro about the planning and scheduling of greenhouses so basically the purpose of providing and maintaining a growing environment will use it to maintain the optimum production at maximum yield so the agriculture in controlled environment is possible in all the regions as well as irrespective of climate and weather it is said to be an enclosing structure for growing plants, greenhouses and also used for admitting the visible light portion of the solar radiation to plant photosynthesis at the maximum level. So and they can be mainly transparent. So it is said to be a must character of the enclosed structures. At the same time it used to protect the plants and the greenhouse must be ventilated and cooling during the day because of the heat load through the radiation from the sun must also need to be maintained. The structure must need to be heated as well as insulated during cold nights. So based on the requirements, the greenhouse or else the product structure must need to satisfy each and every means of the crop. A greenhouse act as a barrier between the plant production areas and the external or the general environment to the crops. So the first character we are going to see is the site selection as well as the orientation. A greenhouse is said to be designed to withstand local wind, snow, crop as well as different loads of the nature for a specific crop activity in that particular area. In this way the structure becomes location and crop specific in that area. So the building should site should be as level as possible to reduce the cost of grading and the site should be well aerated and should receive the good solar radiation in that particular area. So the provision of data system is also an important pro property we must need to uh, maintain in knowledge. And it is also advisable to select a site with natural windbreaks. So the spending of amount for the windbreak can be reduced. In the regions where snow is expected, tree should be away from 30 to 50 meter away in order to keep the drift from the greenhouse gases. So to prevent shadow on the crops, Trees located on east, south and uh, west side should be at the distance of 2.5 times the height of the tree present in that particular situation is also a good one. And while seeing the design and criteria for the greenhouse, for the location of greenhouse a piece of land larger than the growing Im immediate need should be taken and acquired in that area. The ultimate side of the greenhouse range should be estimated in that uh, construction site and the area should be added to the estimated figure to accommodate several service building storage as well as the access drives and a parking lot should be maintained in the construction site and the floor area should be building with a small frame of about 13 percent of the greenhouse floor area and it decreases with the increase in size of the form on an average the service building is used to occupy 10 percentage of the growing area in that center and the service building is centrally located in nearly square design of the frame which minimizes distance of the movement of plant as well as material in that particular area doors between the service building as well as the greenhouse should be wide enough to facilitate full use of corridor widths and the doors at least 3.1 meter width and 2.7 meter high are commonly known measurements for that particular greenhouse uh, or product cultivation sites. It is good to have a greenhouse gutter at least 3.7 cm above the floor to accommodate automation as well as the thermal blanket and still leave the room for future innovations made in the product structures. And after that we are going to see about the structure design. So one of the most important function of the greenhouse structures and its covering of the plant to of the crop against hostile weather conditions. So where low and high temperatures, snow, hail and uh, rain and wind as well as the disease and natural pest are said to be maintained as well as controlled in the structural designs. It is important to develop the greenhouse with the maximum intensity of light, natural light inside that protected structure and the structural parts that can 
cast a shadow in the greenhouse should be minimized in that area. So as well as the different structural designs of greenhouse based on the type of the frames are available in that structural design. And a straight wall, uh, side wall and an arched roof is possibly the most common shape of greenhouse until now and the best of cable roof is also widely used in this one and both the structure can be freestanding or the gutter connected with an arch roof of the greenhouse or protected structure. And the approach and the hoop style greenhouse are most often constructed of galvanized iron pipe. If the tall growing crops are to be grown in the greenhouse or when benched or used it is used to a straight side wall as well as structure rather than hoop style houses. This ensures the best optional, operational use of the greenhouse. A hoop of a hoop type of greenhouse is said to be suitable for low growing crops such as lettuce and for nursery stock, which are said to be household through the winter in greenhouse located in extremely cold conditions in that area. A gothic art frame structure can use it to divine, design and to provide adequate side at the wall heights without the loss of strength to the structure is also need to be maintained. And the ultimate design of the greenhouse mainly depends upon the following aspect. The overall structure design as well as the properties of individual structure components and the specific mechanical and physical properties which are used to determine the structural behavior of the covering material in the greenhouse. And uh, the specific sensitivity of the crop to light and temperature is said to be grown inside the product product structure or said to be maintained in the design. And the specific requirements relevant to the physical properties of the covering material are need to be maintained by the design. And the agronomic requirements of the crop must need to be given by the de design of the product structure in that area. And while seeing about the covering material, the following factors are said to be con considered while selecting the greenhouse covering material. Example, light transmission, weight, resistance to impact as well as the durability to outdoor weathering and thermal stability or wide range of temperatures are need to be taken in selecting the covering material. For example, some of the different covering materials are glass and acrylic sheet used to come for around 20 years which is used to have a longer period than any other materials and polycarbonate and fiberglass and uh, reinforced polyester sheet where it used to have a lifetime of 5 to 12 years and polyethylene 2 to 6 months and polyethylene is stabilized for UVAs which used to be around 2 to 3 years. So these are the different lifetime of the covering material used in the product structures. And the ideal greenhouse selective covering material should have the also have the following properties. And the first one is used to transmit the visible light portion of the solar radiation which must be utilized in the photosynthesis and also it used to block the ultraviolet radiation as well as the harmful rays from the solar one and it should up observe the small amount of UV radiation and uh, which must need to also be converted to fluorescence into visible light which can be used by the flops must also need to be the important character in the covering material and it also observe as well as reflect the IR infrared radiation which are not useful to plants but also used to cause greenhouse interiors to overheat the situation so it must need to be taken at the point and uh, the cost of the greenhouse covering material must be minimum so it can be affordable for each and everyone and the life should be up to 10 to 20 years but there are only minimum amount of covering materials which comes on to the maximum lifetime of 10 to 20 years and the construction of glass gla while seeing the glass greenhouses the gla glass greenhouses used to have an advantages of greater interior light intensity over a plastic panel as well as the pla film plastic covered greenhouses and the glass greenhouses tend to have a higher air infiltration rate which leads to the lower interior humidity where they used to have advantages of disease prevention in that area on the other hand the greenhouse used to have a higher initial cost than double layer plastic film greenhouses while comparing the price of the greenhouse to a plastic film greenhouse one need to take into account that the initial purchase price as well as the cost of recovering of the particular film in the greenhouse must be taken up to a life period of 3 to 4 years and all metal greenhouses provides a cheaper to maintain and since they require no painting 
at present virtually all greenhouse construction is of metal type and the structural members of the glass greenhouses are said to used to have a cast shadow that reduce plant growth during the dark months of the year uh, so the aluminium shaft bars are stronger than the wood ones hence wider panels of glass can be used with aluminium bars is said to be a greater idea in holding those structures and the reduction in material as well as the reflectance of aluminium used to have the metal greenhouses and used to have a greater advantage over the wooden one in terms of higher interior light intensity as well as the stability of the structure and uh, while seeing about the construction of pipe framed greenhouses the choice of construction of the pipe framed greenhouses often favors low initial investment and relatively long life than any others so while seeing the selection the galvanized mid mild steel pipes as a structure member in association with the wide with the uv stabilized low density polyethylene which is ldpe flim is said to be common option of greenhouse designers used until now and uh, while seeing about the material requirements of greenhouse the hoops foundation lateral support poly grip assembly as well as the end frame or the material requirements used in the greenhouse construction and uh, i have given the following materials which are which can be um, required for a greenhouse having 4 meter and 20 meter floor area so i have given them is a point way for your reference so you can able to read it if so if you i have also given the lecture notes in description if you have any queries please comment in the section and join us in the instagram page i have given the links in the lecture notes in the description so if you like the video like it and share it with your friends and subscribe to bsc agriculture and hit the bell icon to get regular updates so thanks for watching the video i'll catch you up in next videos